It's Hello from Kirkcaldy. Yeah, I'm here at Kirkcaldy and Dicer FC, uh, Alex Penman Park for a pre-season friendly. Uh, it's Kirkcaldy and Dicer versus an under 20 East Fife team. And I can hear some ultras. Well, there you go. Welcome to the Alex Penman Park, home of Kirkcaldy and Dicer Football Club. Oh. How we doing? And Colin as well. How we doing, guys? Right. And you've got your East Fife. That's a, I mean, I prefer my home stuff, eh? The that iconic was, that one. Was, that was a bad one. You've got a training top, aye. Is this your first time at the year? It is my first trip to Kirkcaldy and uh, Dicer, yeah. Night, and I'll, I'll catch up with yeah, you later, okay? Yeah. It's good seeing you as always. Isn't it great seeing the uh, East Fife ground topper Ben and uh, Colin Hickman? Uh, guys are following Twitter and need to look ground topping. Fantastic. I'm just, just having a wee walk through the ground. There you go. We've got a wee covered uh, seating area over there. Tiny ass where the, the altars are. Okay, hold it there. Get yourself a drink if you want. Yep. And you've got Raven's Creek Castle there. Okay. Things that are. Very good. Uh, even the Duggets have got the same, the Cocodian and Dysart with the Adam Smith with the place of the hard fort. Was that one of the Adam Smith quotes or something? What was that? The no? Right. Ah, the Langton as right. well, eh? Right. Right. So is that the place of the hard fort, was it? Right, there you go. Well, you learn something every day, thanks very much. I've just been a guy there, they, they two Duggets are too close together, they'll be moving them apart. But, it's one of these grounds with the three Duggets, because they used to have one over there, they still have one over there. <laughs> so, one of the many grounds of the legacy of having three dugouts. There we go. Oh. Well, there's this third dugout I was talking about. Oh. Oh, there's the old Probably you order them. We've just met the Den Road Ultras. There we go. Ah, you've even got a wee sign up there, the Den Road. There you go. Come and have a go with the Den Road Ultras. There we go. This is like a that big bit behind the, the goal, big area behind the goals, but the rest of the ground is pretty close. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I'll go and stand near the Den Road Ultras. There we go, kick off. Oh, there's a wee shot and target there, but easily saved for the goalie. Eh? Break it right up. Oh, I think we're going to save that there. Oh, good, good play there. They threw in the goal, eh? A chip. And it's 1 0. It's 1 0. It's Kip Cordy and Dyson. You guys have to tell me who the score was. That's so it was. Thank you. Oh, no. 
I'm calling up to his wife for that uh, first corner of the game. A good shot. Oh, hit the post. There we go. It was beaten there. Oh, he's in the field. There's another goal. There's another goal. We have two goals. Just after he's faced at the post. I'm told by, that, told by a helpful gentleman, it was uh, Stevie Jeffries that scored. Oh, we mistake there. Oh, the penalty, is it? Yes. Yes, penalty. Yeah. Oh, there you go, chance. Oh! There you go, we've got a hand to it. Right, 2 1 now. Oh! 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 Before you go down uh, the hill, right. to hot pot lane at the. Oh, there's a shot here. Oh, another, oh, another goal, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Stevie Jeffries again. Oh, another corner, is it? No. Yeah, corner to his feet. Another short corner. Yeah, 
Just have a wee deflection, so there's another corner to his face. I think that's the fourth corner. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, what the? Oh. They're going. Oh, that was. Can't tell from here, but it looked like you were in. A good player number seven. Is he doing too much of a oh. Oh, oh, what the goal that was. Well done, number seventeen. Show me the team. There we go, thank you very much. Because you can't do everything, you can work the camera and watch the no. game and look at it. Oh, there's another chance. Oh, from the far away. Oh, no. Coming up. Oh, that's another goal. Well, the goal is your hand to it, but that's it. Oh, that's half time. I just missed the half time whistle there. Good because I got the old dust coming to me. How are we doing? I missed the half time whistle because just uh, just there. Uh, I was speaking to a guy, Sandy Forbes, uh, very, very helpful, really nice guy. Uh, so I'm going to get some half time reviews from our fellow ground toppers if I can see them. Thank you. Good man. Nice half time review. He's five, he's five fan. What do you think? They're not, they're not bad team, like it. I tell you what, some cracking goals you've scored. A couple of players at number seven and ten. Uh, is it ten? Uh, some cracking goals you've scored. Uh, One of them is the third top goal scorer in the league so last season. Uh, Kakari's my pick to win the league this year. Aye, right, aye. Definitely, aye. I think they'll be up there, right? Yeah, but you've seen them, mate. Uh, I've seen them back, I've seen them when they played Recife and that was 6-4 that game. Right. I've never seen them. Can't remember when they were there. Um, but East Fife's not playing very well against them, right? Like, no. I thought it's typical though, it won, like, 1-0, one, one we came up and hit the post. Uh, and right after that, the book of Rain scored. Uh, and, 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 that's, and that's football, eh, you know. Definitely. I mean, it is a, it's an under-20s team, it's a development team. Aye. They just learn, haven't they? Okay. It's a good I mean, they're, they're not playing badly, just that the, the Kirkcaldy are on oh, fire, on fire, on fire yeah. with the goal scorers. Right guys, hey, I'll speak to you later maybe, yeah? You guys speak to guys. Just have a wee look at the... I think, I think this will be the hospitality square, you'd be set up, eh? <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Right, I'm just making my way around to the, the place where I'm standing. Uh, there we go, we'll kick off. Oh. Oh, well taken. Oh, the sun's coming off his throne. Oh, 
Ik weet niet of ze hier hier op stoel bewaard is. En hier is de Noeum factory. Ik hoor die vrienden voor het Noeum. Dit is echt leuk. I was impressed with a couple of players, uh, seven was it Jeffries and ten, uh, Smith, uh, some cracking goals. That will give them confidence for uh, the league campaign. Uh, I think they're a, well, what, what you see was a, a very good team. Uh, I know, I know, it was the youngest five teams they were playing, and of course, the friendly there's a lot of changes, an awful lot of substitutions in the game, and the second half ended up a, a right midfield battle. But uh, it was still a great game, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was great meeting up with Colin Hickman and uh, Ben, the East Fife ground topper. A couple of ground toppers I see occasionally. The games, uh, both live in Fife and you see them all at the Fife games. A big thank you to that guy, I think it was at Sandy Forbes, who was uh, uh, helping me in identifying a lot of the players. It's great the people you meet and he's just an example of that, or right knowledgeable, uh, so it was really helpful. So thanks Sandy. 